Welcome! Hi, I'm Kevin, and I'm a software developer here at MathWorks. I'm here today to demonstrate authoring client-server interfaces in System Composer. For this demonstration, we'll be first covering the basics of how to author client-server interfaces. Then we'll walk through an example that models a controller requesting services from two sensors. To begin, let's first create a software architecture model. To create a software architecture model, click Software Architecture Model on the Simulink Start page. Client-server communications in System Composer are modeled through client ports and server ports. To create a client or server port, let's first create a software component for the controller by dragging a software component from the tool strip. Then let's create a component for the sensor. Click on the border of the component and select the client or server option from the dynamic menu. Let's create a client port for the controller. Now let's create a server port for the sensor. To create a client-server connection modeling a call to a service from the client port to the server port, drag a connection. Let's rename the port sensor data. You can specify an interface for the client-server connection through the interface editor. Go to the modeling tab and select interface editor. To specify an interface, you can go to the add interface button and select service interface from the drop-down menu. To specify the services provided by the sensor component, you can create function elements. To create a function element, select the service interface and click the Add Element button. You can further specify the function element by changing the prototype of the function. You can change the name of the function by editing the prototype of the function element in the interface editor. Similarly, you can change the number of arguments in the function element by editing the prototype. To associate a service interface with a client-server connection, click either the client or server port and open the property inspector. To open the property inspector, go to the modeling tab from the design section and select property inspector. Expand the interface section and select the service interface from the name drop-down menu to assign the interface. The service interface is now associated with the port. If you click the other port, you can see that the service interface has also been associated with it. To begin implementing a client-server relationship between two components, you can create Simulink behaviors from the components. Right-click the component with the client board and select Create Simulink Behavior. From the menu, click OK. As you can see, a Simulink behavior was created for the component. You can do the same for the sensor component with a server port. Going into the component with a server port, we can see that a Simulink function has been automatically created for each service specified in the service interface. You can go on to implement the service in Simulink. Similarly, you can see that a function call subsystem has been created in the client component for each service as well. Now that you know the basics of how to specify services for components with client server ports, let's now go into the full example to see how you can schedule services, implement them, and generate code for them. This model contains a controller component and two sensor components, representing two temperature sensors in a building. We can observe that the controller component has a client relationship with the sensor components. This means that the controller will call the services implemented by the sensor component and specified by the service interface. The service interface sensor command has two services, fetch data and reset. Both services are provided by the sensor component and called by the controller component. You can schedule the services in the service interface through the functions editor. Go to the Modeling tab and select Functions Editor. You can change the order of the functions by clicking the Increase Execution Order and Decrease Execution Order button. You can also use the Functions Editor to specify the period between calls to the same service. Once you have specified the order of the services, let's simulate in order to observe the sequence of service calls. Once the simulation finishes, open the Sequence Viewer. To open the Sequence Viewer, select the Simulation tab, go to the Review Results section, and select Sequence Viewer. As you can see, the Sequence Viewer captures the service calls made from the controller to the sensors during simulation. If you want to see the unique types of service interfaces and components, you can use the Class Diagram view. To open the Class Diagram view, go to the Modeling tab. Select Architecture Views in the Views section. Create a new view. Click Select All Components from the Add Component Filter drop-down. Click Apply. And select the Class Diagram view from the Diagram section. The types and relationships between components are displayed in the new view. 
To generate code from this model, open the code perspective and click the Generate Code button. Now that code is generated, let's dive into the sensor model and see how code for the service interface has been generated and used. For the service interface, an abstract class has been generated containing the services. These services are implemented by the sensor model and called by the controller model. Now you have learned how to author client-server interfaces and how to simulate client-server interfaces in System Composer. Don't forget to consult the MATLAB help documentation for more resources with functions and examples regarding client-server interfaces.